Hello and welcome to <laughs> something come up on my iPad. Something come up on my iPad. I accidentally pressed something just to start again. Hello and welcome uh -huh. to come Hello and welcome to Mac Mania episode 59 for the 16th of December 2013 and this is the show that gives you your weekly dose of Apple news but today we're giving you your yearly dose of in review and uh, joining me is Mark Knight from the Mr Mark UK1 channel and Elliot Lyons from the Legend Elliot 94 channel I think it's actually is it Legend Elliot 94 Yes yeah yeah, yeah, yeah I, was just, I wasn't, for some reason I thought it was Legend Elliot 97 for a minute there. <laughs> 97? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, it popped in my head for some reason. I don't know why that happened, but anyway. <laughs> oh, is it by the year, is it? Oh, right. Yeah. So you were born in 1994, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I didn't actually know that. That's, like me! That's, that's a new fact, but... Yeah, anyway, <laughs> um, how, how are you both, though, so looking... I'm good. How are you both? Looking forward to the show? Yeah, I'm, thank you. Yeah, it should be good. It's uh, uh, one week to Christmas Eve, so Santa Claus is coming to beat mm. you up. Coming to beat you up? What the hell? <laughs> 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 uh, that could be a bit strange. Oh, it's coming to get you. Of course, <laughs> next, week we've got our, of course next week we've got a Christmas show. We'll talk more about that um, at the end. Up but uh, today is our review show. Um, we normally, on this day before uh, the Christmas show, actually do a prediction show, but because we've missed quite a lot of episodes, uh, we've decided to give you basically a review um, in the we year. So we'll year. do our prediction show <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. But um, we'll do the prediction show, the first episode, back next year, uh, and that will give you, obviously, uh, our thoughts on what will happen in 2014. Um, but I want to start this episode by talking, obviously we'll go into the, re the review now, and I want to talk about uh, something that was rumoured at the start of the year, um, and that was uh, that Apple will be coming out with a wristwatch this year. Hasn't happened. Um, what, are you got, what are your guys' thoughts? Uh, do you reckon it will happen uh, next year? Um, I guess we're kind of going in for a bit of a prediction here, but do you reckon it will happen? Do you reckon it will ever happen? Um, and w was you expecting Apple to bring out um, the wristwatch um, gadget uh, this year? Well, I believe it's been a long, long time. They keep saying this, that, the other. We're going to bring a watch up. We're going to bring the eye watch up. We're going to bring the eye watch, eye watch, eye watch. Yeah, but then, so, what that's, the, called it? I don't know. that's the problem, isn't it? Is I don't know what to call it, probably. That's probably Is it going to come out? Is yeah, that's, that's, that's probably exactly. Yeah. And I think, I might have heard this from somebody else. I can't remember. Are they too late? For making a watch. Well, uh, there is no watch yeah, for an iPhone, is there? It's only Android. What's it going to do? Yeah. Because my smartwatch only works on my Android phone. So, should this be the first Well, they wouldn't be too late then. Well, like, the thing is, though, is I, I reckon Apple, and I'm not sure if they are making this or not at the moment, like, I, I have no really, you know, it's kind of a hard one. Do you really think it's, you know, do you really Apple are thinking right? Do you really, like, do you really think um, it's worth um, Apple bringing out this kind of technology? Like, does this kind of wristwatch technology actually have a future? Like, you know, I, I don't really see myself getting, you know, a watch and kind of, you know, talking on the phone like this. You know, I think only spies would do that. But hello. Are you in? Are you in there? <laughs> but no. Um, in, in all truth, uh, truthfulness, um, do you reckon that this has, this kind of technology has a future? Nah, not really. It's one of those things, like um. It's gonna be one of those things like a um, what was it? It's like a it's like an Xbox Connect, isn't it? It's whole touch and sensor thing. It's like oh yeah, I can do wireless, but then uh, it doesn't really take off. And actually, it's it's like the um, I don't know, it's just one of those things that will come and go. I think I mm. think it'll be long yeah. term. I'd... No, I, don't, I agree with that because. You know, I, I'm quite fine with just, you know, holding my phone or, or even, you know, using these um, earphones with a mic on it, of course. This one doesn't have a mic on it, but of course with a mic and, and talking like that. Um, you know, I don't think, uh, you know, the wristwatch 
you know, that kind of get that kind of, you know, gadget is going to really, um, you know, have a have a place in the world uh, anytime soon. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> Parents are going. Parents are going to bed. Um, uh, do you have any? Does anyone have anything else to, to say about the wristwatch? Of course, I guess we'll talk about it more in the prediction show. Of course, because I, I guess you probably want to say you if it happens or not. I guess. Side, huh? You change your sides where you wear your watch. <laughs> your watch is on the other wrist. No, it's not. It's because it's mirrored, Mark. Oh, Mark. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 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 Probably just a lightning connector. No, what, what's the battery life going to be like? Is it going to be 12 hours? One 10 hour, years. Hours? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't. I'm assuming it'll be a really long time, a day, a day's worth. Um, moving on um, to uh, a bigger um, thing that happened in Apple this year was, uh, of course, Apple every year um, release a new version of the uh, software available on iOS devices. Um, but this year's one was pretty significant because Apple changed its um, iOS uh, interface a lot. Made it a pretty, in my opinion, a lot brighter and yeah, colourful. Colourful is that if that's even a word um, mm. um, as well. Um, it was it's called iOS. It's all it's called iOS seven, of course. Um, Elliot, you've you've probably got it because you yeah. have uh, an iPhone. I'm assuming you've, you've updated. What, what's your thoughts on it? Yeah, I like it. It's a lot different. I think yeah. it's a lot better. However, it doesn't run as smooth as the other one. On a, on an old mm. iPhone, anyway. I do have some thoughts. I do have some yeah. thoughts about it as well. Right. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, Mark, do you want to do you want to share your thoughts? Obviously, you haven't probably well, experienced I, it as I, much I have, as I have sort as, of used it, but, but yeah, I, I do know I yeah. have problems. Like Robert, um, Pine Man Rob, who's been on the show before, he's got his radio in his car and he can plug his phone in it. But now, with the new iOS 7, his radio doesn't connect to his phone properly, so he can't no. actually play his music properly through his phone to his radio. They've got a USB, yeah, that's, that's... Got a USB stick. Yeah, that's something that, that Apple yeah, needs, needs to work on fixing, because that, that obviously um, posts a problem about the software. Look, I don't, I, I don't mind it in my opinion. I think it's a, a nice upgrade. Obviously in the first few weeks it was about getting used to it. Of course it was a pretty big change. Um, but I think after a while people start to get used to it and actually like it. I actually do like it. I think it's it's quite nice and I think the wallpapers on it are quite nice. Um, it's actually not a bad um, it's not a bad software. I, I, I really love, and this is probably the favourite feature, is the control panel. Being able to swipe up on anything yeah. and just you know, all those important settings are there. Brightness, um, rotation lock. I always rotate lock my phone, but sometimes I need... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I always need to um, press the rotation lock to, you know... Um, I, I know this was on the, the multitask bar, but you had to kind of double tap and swipe, but now you can just swipe up. And there's a lot of other good features on there as well. Flashlight, if you need a calculator, you can just press the calculator button. Um, it's it's not. I actually really do like the the new software, um, but yeah, as you said, Elliot, it, it obviously um, doesn't run as smoothly on older iPhones. Of course, the iPhone uh, 4s also, and, and um, I guess later. I'm guessing, um, I believe when this came out, it was the first update iOS had done to the iOS devices for quite a few time, quite a few years now. Yeah, the Is most significant. Right? Um, I guess the most. Um, you know, because the, they've had the same design since um, what? What was the year that the iPhone was released? Two thousand eight or something like that, something um, like where that. Steve Jobs announced the, the the first iPhone, and they haven't really changed the interface since. This is probably the big the biggest upgrade since iOS five, in my opinion, because iOS five was pretty big, of course. At, of course, Mark, you you remember that updating your your, your to iOS five. He's got a video yes. on it. If you... Is that when it blew <laughs> up? Video on it if you want to. Um... Oh yeah. Is that when it blew up? 
I took 12 hours to update my iOS device. <laughs> wow. I had to use an old Hi. XP computer to actually make it work. My Windows Vista 7, whatever it was at the time, like a bit before this one, didn't like update my, my iPod for some reason. I got really annoyed and there was a few swear words in it. <laughs> I know, it was, it was Angry actually, cram. It was actually quite. It was, it was actually quite funny, but iOS five was actually pretty big because, um, of course, that brought messaging to to the iPod and all that. But this is probably the most significant ever, I reckon. Update. I'm just looking through to seeing some some obviously the the. Now, um, when I first saw it, so a lot of people were saying it looked a bit like Android. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what's yeah. your thoughts no. on that, Elliot? I'm not really sure. Do you reckon it does? Yeah, that's the first thing I said. It's not, yeah. not obviously, yeah. not exactly the same, but it does look. I think yeah, it's the yeah, colours yeah. they've used. I think it's the colours, because they, they yeah, look probably, similar. Probably right there. Obviously, yeah. I am an Apple fan. I do like my Apple products, even though I haven't got any of them. It's I'm not. Sorry, Apple, it's I not enough like though. It's not enough because I mean the, the actual Android, like the menu screen, is not white, so it's not exactly the same. No. No. So they can't, it's not really what's copying. Your, what's your, what's your, I, you guys, here you go. I Mark. have used, I have used iPhone 5, I'm not iPhone 5, I have used iOS 7, play around with it. And when I first saw it, I was thinking, okay, this is going to be fun with Android, they're going to have a bit of an argument. Obviously Samsung and Apple hate each other, and yeah, I've got mm, Apple's viral phone, Samsung. Have I got a Samsung? Yes, I've got a Samsung, haven't I? Yeah. My phone's a Samsung, isn't it? I forgot. Yes, yeah, Mark, it's a Samsung. <laughs> you don't even know your own phone. Oh. <laughs> Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Oh, Mark. And of course, um, the, the iOS 7 um, has brought uh, some good new features as well. Of course, the control panel, but also the camera is kind of updated a little bit. Now there's uh, in-built, built-in filters. Um, I haven't, I haven't played around with that much. Have you, Elliot, the, the camera? I, I don't normally take um, pictures. Yeah, uh, not that with, much. With, not with much. Filter. Not much. Yeah. Still, it's a pretty good feature to have. And, of course, the other one is uh, the photo. Um, the photo, uh, what's it called? The photo, uh, well, the, the albums have kind of changed. Do you like that, the way that they've set out the, the photo app now? Um, of course, um, it's a different kind of interface. It's of course, right. you can choose to have the, the the same interface, but yeah, like groups of photos when it was taken, and yeah, which is something that Air, which is something that Android does do. So that's kind of that is the same because I remember I, I have I had an Android phone for a couple of years, um, and um, that was one of them. If you take a picture, it will create its own album and say that the photo was taken on that day. So that's one of the features. I I, I probably you know. I haven't really played around with Android that much now because obviously it's improved um, and the phone I was using last year was, you know, a different version. But um, but um, I'd probably say the Apple one seems a bit better. Um, what What's uh, what's you guys' final, um, I guess, final report on iOS 7? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? I like it. I haven't got a problem with it. Really? Obviously, I have not. Yeah, so I've not really used. I haven't, don't own one, so I couldn't really. Yeah. Used mine though, Cram. But what, oh yeah, I've but used what about yours. Like, did you did you like it when you're playing around with? I guess you kind can't kind of can't say, but. Um, oh yeah, the time I've used it, I did enjoy it. It is different, but yeah, it's okay. Mm. All right, we'll move on. Um, so that's uh, iOS 7. Um, now, Apple um, announced it at WWDC uh, and released it in September. Uh, uh, one other thing that they did um, announce, uh, well, they announced a couple of things at WWDC. Another thing they did was announce new MacBook Air models. Um, and uh, this, the MacBook Air, um, is 11-inch and 13-inch models. Uh, the battery life has gone up five hours from five hours to nine hours, which is pretty good. So if you want to take your, your Mac, your MacBook Air around, um, then um, you can um, you can have it on a good, um, you know, nine hour battery life, which is uh, which is really good. Um, what's what's everyone thought? Everyone's thoughts on the Mac MacBook Air overall? Is it is it a nice nice laptop to have? Uh, 
I guess I've not really used the new MacBook Air. So I. It's fast and small and thin. <laughs> yeah. It's very expensive. <laughs> the, one that, the, one that, the one that comes out of the envelope. Yeah, that one, yeah. The one that no, gets I'm the one sure. the one that I'm gets not... lost in the post very easily. <laughs> no, I am sure. A few years ago, I remember when I was thinking about getting a laptop. I saw this laptop coming out an envelope. I thought, "What the dickens is that? That is thin as anything. That would easily break." So, I get the point they want to make it all thin and flat. But how do they get all those technology hard drives in the computer? It's an SSD, Mark. A hard drive. Uh, the battery. The battery must be thin as anything. Yeah. By the way, this is not the only time that Mark's actually said about the. The MacBook Air coming out of the envelope. If you go back to the best bit, he actually <laughs> said that he doesn't. He actually said he doesn't want to get it because it's so thin, <laughs> or something like that. Well, well, Mark will probably um, pull the lid off if he uh, add it. Underscrew it and have a look. Yeah. Um, but um, this MacBook Air has the uh, the latest um, new Haswell processor. So that's by Intel, of course. Obviously, these Macs run out of in Intel. I don't mind the MacBook Air, actually. I've considered getting one um, a few times. I think it would be a nice little computer kind of to have. You know, as you know, it's a Mac. Why well, wouldn't you want to get a Mac? But um, I don't know. I like it. I think it's, I think it's quite good. Um, obviously, it's thin. I guess that's what... Um, I guess that's what the nature of it, I guess. What makes it special is that you can fit it in a, in a bag easily because... You know, it's so thin and so small, it doesn't take up much space like a MacBook Pro. So, um, nice, uh, nice little, um, nice little thing to, um, I guess, have is the, the Mac if you want a, a laptop, of course. But of course, they are so expensive, aren't they? The thousand dollar ranges, I'm not sure what they are in pounds, but they're so expensive. About 12, 1200. Yeah, see, ex expensive. Yeah. Um, just a quick uh, mention about the uh, what uh, another thing that Apple um, announced at WWDC was the um, the Airport Extreme. Um, it's called, um, and it's basically a base station. Um, I'm not really kind of big on the on the Apple Extreme. Um, do you have any thoughts on the Apple uh, Airport Extreme? Um, it works three times faster than Wireless N. And, um, yeah, that's the, it's like a base station, of course. But getting on to the big thing, and we're getting on to the iPhone department now. Um, normally Apple, every year, announced two, I uh, sorry, one iPhone, I gave it away there, one iPhone <laughs> um, every year. But this year, this year, they've announced two iPhones, and we're going to start with the newest one, which is the iPhone C. Um, of course, this is a phone uh, that's meant to be cheaper, but if you want to get it outright, of course, um, you can get it cheaper, but not that much cheaper, only about $100 off. It's, st it's still in the $700 range. Like Mark said last week, um, it's, it's expensive um, in reality if you, if, you do, if you don't want it on a plan. Um, it comes in five different colours, green, yellow, blue, white, and pink in a po-carbonated uh, design. Um, and the phone uses the uh, the A6 processor, rear-facing camera as the iPhone 5. Um, and I do not mind this device. I think it's nice. Um, thoughts? It has a lot of colour. Okay. I don't know, it just, it's just a cheap version of the iPhone, really. That's all it is. Yeah. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll make a cheaper one. That's what it is. It's plastic. Is it made of plastic? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean... Well, Apple call it... Apple call it... Apple call it... Um, just wait a minute. Apple call it... Uh, I've got it here. Apple calls it a hard-coated polycarbonate, um, which is, a, I guess, a type of plastic, I guess. Yeah. 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 Mm. I take it that's supposed to be strong. <laughs> Stronger than normal yeah, plastic. I, I guess I, I, it's probably I guess so, um, it's probably a plastic they use for all phones, but they just use the proper term for it, and then it makes it sound a lot better than actually. 
Yeah, that's 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 probably right. That's probably what it is. <laughs> plastic, so they've decided to they've decided polycarbonate to plastic. Oh, it sounds interesting. <laughs> it's probably good. <laughs> um, but Apple was Apple has actually, and like you said earlier about a lot of color, Apple has actually got the the cases. Um, the twenty-nine dollar cases, so you can add more colour to them. So you can add a, a case. It's got little holes in it, and uh, you can see those holes can get the the, the actual iPhone C colour, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah. Do you have any thoughts on the iPhone five C, Mark? Of course, I know you do. Um, yeah, I suppose it's an interesting phone. But uh, if you're getting that, why don't you actually get the iPhone? Four, because it's cheaper, so I don't see the point. Yeah, you the moment, made this. Really. Yeah, you made this point, um, and I'll, I'll put it out here now that we're, we're, I've got this in the, the review. Um, is about the iPhone four. They've actually brought out. Um, hang on, is the iPhone four or the four S? iPhone four S. They've actually brought. Um, they've actually brought out uh, an eight gigabyte one, so it's probably more cheaper to get. It's more cheaper to get. So, um, yeah, that's a very good point, Mark, of course, but I guess um, if you want the bigger screen and, uh, and you know, you want you don't want to get the iPhone 5S, then I guess I guess the iPhone C is the way to go. Um, you know, there's probably nothing wrong, though, with getting an iPhone um, 4, 4S, though. No. But um, yeah, it just depends on, on what people what people want. Um, we we talked about this last week, Mark, on our um, our, our episode that we did. Um, it was an article, um, and I would like to get your thoughts on this, Elliot. Um, it's um, the iPhone C since it was released has actually been taking Android users away from Android and them buying the iPhone 5C and actually um, being a part of of, Apple, of using an Apple device. Um, what do you think of that? Obviously, that's a very big thing that the iPhone C is doing, is taking Android um, users away. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It's... I think it's well, just a bit you? of... I mean, I... Like people that go across and then they'd be like, oh... Yeah, and then they just start flip chop and change between Android and iPhone. But the thing is, I mean, I mean, obviously iPhone, you got iTunes and everything. I know iCloud and everything all built in, so it's harder for me to go back to Android because I have nothing really on there. But people who are on Android, they're gonna mm. find it harder to go across to iPhone because they're used to the Android yeah. store and everything. And the thing is, that all the apps I bought obviously on iPhone, I can't use them on Android. And then all the Android apps you can't use on iPhone, so it's like you're sort of stuck with whatever you pick first. So I don't, I don't know if it's. I mean, if people are going to move across, they're going to have to ditch everything basically in order to yeah. actually. That's what I. I mean, they must be I desperate because my... I mean it's quite a big thing if you're going to lose all that if you paid for a lot. I mean, I don't know. I think just people yeah. are just like, oh, I want an iPhone, so we'll just get it. But then I think they're sort of like, oh, I've got to rebuy really everything. Oh, it's a bit annoying. So. That's the thing I like, I from my yeah. You go, Mark. I lost all my apps because I said I couldn't install them on my on my Android. Hmm. The thing, the thing though, and and this is something that I've been thinking about um, since discovering this story and talking about it, um, is that. Maybe people wanted to go to the iPhone originally, but it was too expensive. And of course, Android, Google, um, you know, Android uh, making Android, uh, you know, the phones that Android, um, uh, you know, Android's got thousands of phones. Not, no, not thousands of phones. That's a bit. That's a big stream. Um, but like a heap of phones on the market with Android, and some of them are cheaper than the other. So it's easy for someone to get a cheaper Android phone and it still have that experience. With with the iPhone originally. You could only get the iPhone 5. Um, they, you could probably only get the iPhone 4S cheaper. Um, that's all. That's all it'd be. Now you can have that experience of the iPhone 5S on a cheaper phone, which is the iPhone C. So maybe that's kind of, uh, I guess, now what's attracting 
Android some Android users is that the the cheapness, and that's yeah. probably why Apple wanted to do it because they knew that the original phone too expensive um, on a plan at least. Um, so give that experience on a cheaper kind of phone. Hmm. Yeah, I get it. Um, of course, the iPhone S was a iPhone 5s, I should say, was announced um, as well uh, at a uh, I think it was a press conference in September. That was when it was announced. Um, it's um, now got three colours: um, gold, which is the newest one, and of course the white. And I think it's called the other one. It's not black. It's called space grey. I think it is. Um, <laughs> What's what, what's your guys' thoughts on a gold iPhone and um, the the new touch the touch uh, the touch thing? I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Touch ID, or it might be called uh, well, something else. Well, the Touch ID, it's 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 a good idea. So then your friends can't actually get into your phone, but for some reason, if your finger doesn't like being censored because i remember when i was at school we had to register for pe using our thumbs and mine never worked so if you've got that problem and you're forever trying to unlock your phone yeah. you have got a problem so it is a good idea in a way so people can't get into your phone but sometimes it might not be a good idea doesn't always work doesn't always know not reliable I'm happy to stick with the old passcode unless someone decides to um, try and hack my phone and then disable my phone for five or ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that happens to um, Touch ID. <laughs> Probably not. I know you have got a setting on your phone. If you forget it so many times, you lose everything. Yeah. Hmm. Which I don't like that idea because then you lost everything. That's what I've got, I think. What, what, are what about uh, Touch ID? I haven't got Touch ID, obviously, but... I haven't tried it, so I don't know, but... Um, I don't know, I'd be okay, I guess. It probably wouldn't be something I'd use, though. I'd, I'd, I'd stick with the passcode, I reckon. That's just my what I'd do, probably. Um, what are your thoughts about the gold iPhone? Any good, do you reckon? Mm. Having a gold iPhone? If you want a gold I guess iPhone. It doesn't matter, really. I don't, yeah, I'm not really bothered. I'm not really bothered. <laughs> but other than that, the iPhone 5S is not really a big upgrade. Um, but um, they have erased the iPhone 5, so you, you can't get a you can't get a, you can't go into a shop and say you want an iPhone 5 anymore because they've they've they're not doing them anymore. Um, they're only doing the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5C, and the iPhone 5S. Um, so I've got an iPhone 5. Did Mark just leave? Oh. No, um, I'm still here. No, I pressed, I pressed something. <laughs> but um, but yeah, um, if yeah, you can't get an iPhone 5 anymore. So um, yeah. Anyway. Um, moving on um, to uh, back to the Mac, um, and this was announced. I think this was announced at WWDC. Actually, I'm not sure, but it, I think it was released. Um, this was released. Um, I think it was September or October. Was um, the new iOS, the new OS X for Mac? It's called Matrix. Interesting name, isn't it? Matrix. Matrix. Mavericks. Um, yeah, that's it, Mavericks. I can't remember. <laughs> Mavericks. Um, the world's most uh, advanced uh, desktop op operating system. Of course, it is completely usable with... Um, completely usable with um, the iOS. I reckon... You know what, I'm going to say this right now, and this, I, I'm not going to leave this to the prediction show, but I reckon this is a step further, this operating system, to actually getting a Mac that's touch. Yeah. Uh, I reckon. Uh, I yeah. don't like that idea. 
Well, you're still going to be able to get the... I've been yeah. saying it for ages. When is it going to go touch obviously, screen? Windows, I mean... Obviously, Windows have done it. But obviously, at the moment, they've got Windows 8, which is not good because it's for the tablet. So, if Mac want to go tablet-wise and they bring a touch screen out for tablet, I type an iOS... No. What is it? Um, a Mac charge touch screen, will it be as bad as Windows 8? Probably not. The reason I say it is because, um, well, actually, I don't know. No, I you reckon, know I, mean, no, I don't know. Ellie, what are your thoughts? I reckon you know what I mean, because obviously Windows 8. I had problems with drivers, and I'm back to yeah, Windows so 7. Windows same with Mac. It's, reckon, because, um, it's because Microsoft always rush things, they don't yeah. I don't do yeah. things See, properly. The thing about mm. the thing about the thing about this as as being a touch screen will probably just be completely um Mac touch. Um of course um of course um iOS if you're using an iPad iPhone using a different you're using a different software, but if you're using a Mac touch, you're using Matrix or, or whatever or whatever OS X you're you're running. Um so there's not, you know, because see the thing about Microsoft, and this is what they've done, is they've made one operating system for every single device, so the tablet and the computer, and that's what they've done wrong is make one single software that do, that and and see it doesn't it doesn't run perfectly on it can only run on one device perfectly and not the other. D does that make sense? Do you reckon you agree? Yeah. 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 So they they just you know they they create it and expect it to 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 work on both. Um, look that company that company it's it hasn't been the same since Bill Gates left seriously. <laughs> All I can say about Microsoft. Microsoft they never I mean they do good stuff but they never they never actually do it properly first time. They always do yeah. it and then they always go ah we need to change that ah people are not happy with that ah. I always do it. I always do it wrong. I mean, hmm. Windows Seven, that was very good, really compared. I mean, that was probably the best out of them all. But I mean, Vista was a dial. That was just a rushed XP <sighs> cover up. And that's why I'm, that's that's why I can't. That's I can't, why I can't use it. Computer yeah. But Windows Seven was good success. It's probably the most stable. It was one. Of, well, XP was the most stable. Hmm. Windows Seven was. Decent and modern, yeah. and it still is. Uh, Windows 8 is not for desktop; yeah. it's for touchscreen only. No, and that's where they've gone wrong. And they need to make two different yeah. ones. Um, and yeah, that's the, and that's what I think. Because I like Windows 8. That's where I think. But they need to work on hmm. getting rid of the touch side of it for a desktop. Yeah. Unless they make that's a desktop version not. for touchscreen desktop. And a tablet version yeah. for a tablet, and then a normal that's desktop mouse and keyboard version, because that's what I need to make. Yeah, that that that's definitely the the way to go. Because um, seriously, they've just expected one operating system to run on all platforms, when really it's only designed for one thing, which is a tablet. And that's, you know, they can. I reckon if you got to the bottom, and you know, they, if you were a journalist and you were asking these questions and trying to get to the bottom, they would. They would end up agreeing, because that, that's the truth. Um, they've they've focused on making it for the tablet, but they haven't really mattered about the desktop. And really, they're trying to. It's it looks like they're trying to get rid of the the desktop altogether. Yeah, well they well things are trying to move that way. But the thing is, there's things on a desktop you're not going to do on a tablet. <laughs> exactly. And that's right. uh, that's exactly the problem. Right. <laughs> so it's never going to disappear. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts, yeah. last thoughts on it, Mark? Uh, because you use your computer a lot. Yeah, well, well, obviously, Windows 8 got their problems. Windows 7 was fine. When I used the Mac, that was good. It did the job. It worked with Apple, so, okay. yeah. XP was probably the best-built operating system. Mm -hmm. It's the most stable good. one. And that's why, you know, we were talking about mm -hmm. before, about businesses not upgrading. That's exactly why. Yeah, we talked about that one time. Yeah, we did talk about that one time, and yeah, I still see I still see businesses with with XP because 
It works. It works, exactly. Yeah, it works. That's, that's just the side of it. It works. Um, but look, us at YouTube, us as YouTubers, you know, we, we do our videos and we edit them. Um, there is no decent software on an, on an iPad that I know of or, or any other device um, tablet that actually is a fair dinkum editor. Like, you can use iMovie, but that's only for simple editing. You know, you know what I mean? So, you know, a computer, you need to use that for, for editing and that kind of stuff. You can't use a tablet at the moment because there's, there's nothing, you know, there's no software, not the capability, just simple editing. Like, we can't even, re- we can't even record an Uvu call on an iPad yet. So, you know, we can't, we can't do Mac Mania without a desktop. Um, yeah, so, um, of course, oh, the desktop. I reckon I, the desktop. The desktop will never go away. I don't reckon. I think it'll be there. I think it'll be here forever. Don't you reckon? Definitely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Moving on to the iPad department. Um, uh, Apple announced uh, the iPad Air. Interesting name. Do you reckon the iPad Air? It's, it's actually the thinnest and the lightest full-sized iPad yet. Um, yeah, I still don't see why they're doing that. And obviously, iPhone for, iPhone Air will be out next time. iPhone Air. <laughs> <laughs> Marco, because I um, Of course, that's just like every, any other. I think that's the only kind of thing that's um, really that the iPad is, is upgraded. Um, obviously, it has you know a new new um, new processor and that in it. Um, but this is the interesting one, the iPad Mini. That's been uh, released as well. Um, retina display. Price, I think it has gone up, I think. The price has gone up. So, obviously, the retina display, you can't have that unless the price go, goes up. Um, I guess that's what makes the device these days, though, is, is having that retina display. Because it's it's a nice... it's nice to, um, The iPhone 4S has the retina display, doesn't it? Uh, I don't think it does. Elliot? Um, well, I'm at. Yeah. No. I f- yeah, I think I there is an iPhone. The I- what was that? Retina, the iPhone 4S has a. The iPhone 4S has a Retina display, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought so, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. But I think the iPhone 4 had a Retina display, but yeah, I guess that's what makes a device, which is, um. I guess pretty cool. I don't, I, 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 I don't know, I don't really. I personally don't really um, see the difference, really, with the Retina display. I guess it's a lot more brighter. That's probably about all I notice. Um, and Mark and I talked about last week, um, there's, there was rumours that Apple was going to bring out um, an iPad, uh, we'll call it an iPad Pro, which is essentially a bigger iPad. Um, what are your thoughts on that, Elliot? A bigger one? Yeah, a bigger one, like bigger than the bigger than the iPad Air. Well, probably, I mean, probably essentially, probably essentially a MacBook Pro size, maybe. I think so, we're talking about here. So, so touchscreen MacBook Pro, is that what we're talking about? Yeah. No, I mean like an actual iPad. Um, yeah. But a bigger size. I've got the notes here, actually. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I've, I've written down. Um, wrote down, sorry. Um, it's a, it's supposed to be a 12.9 inch iPad panels. Um, and it's supposed to have an ultra high definition display, bigger and better display. Um, it's supposed to be 270, two hundred and seventy two two thousand seven hundred and thirty two by two thousand and forty five. Wow. It's so that would probably be. Is very very I'm not big. Not sure if that's a Mac. Yeah. I mean, you the idea. Think- it doesn't make sense why it would be that big. No. Because I don't... You'd have to think, though, this will be in the... You'd have to think, though, if Apple brought this out, it would be in the 1000 range, because they already have an, an $800 iPad with a 128 gigabyte. It won't contain the power of a MacBook Pro. I mean... Probably but then, not. will you be able to... Will we have to... Because it'll just be touchscreen, it won't have any keyboard or mouse, so how can you do anything as, as use it? How can you... Apart from apps, I mean, unless they make it complete touchscreen programs for it, because I mean, it's, if you do, I mean, I know people yes. do editing on the Mac, 
Brick Pro and stuff. I mean, you're gonna and an editing software is very hard to make without on a touch screen to make it actually really precise. I know you can make it, but ultimately, a mouse and a keyboard is a lot easier for editing. And uh, to make that into touch screen is pretty hard. It's very it hasn't been done properly yet. So <laughs> and people won't like so using the, it unless it's easy. Yeah. So So like um Yeah, I, I don't know, it's a it's a funny thing and it's gonna be interesting if Apple do bring uh, bring it out. And then and there's the other I mean there's the other thing be. of if you take it out there's a risk of it getting broke and then oh I don't wanna leave that in my bag and oh, you know, it's it's just a problem if it's that expensive as well. <laughs> exactly, that's what I mean. You're gonna have to carry it around, and if they fit a camera on the back of it, you're gonna be like that. You know. <laughs> oh God, if they did that, if they did that, I would, I would, I would fall over, and that would just be ridiculous. It's, it, it's ridiculous enough seeing people take pictures with this iPads, yeah, like, yeah, 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 like you know, holding up. You know, I can't hold up mine because obviously I'm using mine for um, the yeah, Google, yeah. But, um, just seems ridiculous. Do you want to say anything about it, Mark? I know you. you oh, actually, we, the recording didn't really go up anyway last week, so I guess you could kind of repeat your thoughts. <laughs> on, well, on I, the... well, if your people's tablets taking photos, it's kind of ridiculous because I remember. I don't know if I was with you earlier, but showing Chessington. Yeah, they, yeah, I was there. Picture. Yeah, people and they were taking pictures. Up their tablet, they were holding it up, like trying to get a group photo. Yeah, like that. They were like, oh, we're holding it up. I need a photo. Oh. I'm like, yeah. wow. People actually did tablet. Yeah. But like my teacher in maths, right? She goes, what was that noise? She goes, oh, I need to take your photo because, so for exam reasons. And that noise is really annoying, whatever that is. So she gets to the right <laughs> pad and goes, got your photo. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, <my> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's like, that was your butt. It was just really weird. Why would you use a tab, your phone? Mm. Look, it's ridiculous. You know, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, and I'm sorry that, um, I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to, uh, you know who you are, um, essentially, if you're watching this. But uh, when I went to France last year, of course, we, I, was, I went uh, with a school group, and <laughs> we, we had a group photo taken. With one of the teachers' iPad, we got some we got some American chicks to take it for us, and um, <laughs> the, um, <laughs> yeah, we'll take a picture. We'll take a picture of an iPad. I guess it's not a bad thing, but still, you know, not going to get the best iPad quality, especially with an iPad two at least. <laughs> so, Amer yes, it was American chicks, two <laughs> American chicks in France at the at the at, at Versailles. <laughs> and they spoke English. Anyway, um, I, I work in iLife. Got a uh, an upgrade uh, with iMovie and um, iMovie and iPhoto. If you have iMovie on iOS, you will know that it's, it's been upgraded um, because you can kind of see when you open it. Um, and iPhoto and all and Keynote and Pages and Numbers and all of those all of those apps that are part of the iWork and iLife kind of collection have been updated so that um that's just something for you uh the macbook pro got an update as well um be bigger and better obviously better displays and uh better um processors of course imac got an update as well and apple finally and i'm not sure if it's released yet because i think it was rumored that it was going to be um i'm going to check right now it was going to be released today it's the mac pro um, of course, we've talked about this on the show, uh, even last year, whether Apple will even br bring out a new Mac Pro. They finally announced it at WWDC. I, I think it was a WWDC. I think it was. Um, Mark, what's it in the shape of? A bin. <laughs> it's in the shape of a bin, of course, and I think it's out. Um, is it out? I'm just having a look. Uh, 
Oh, so it's, it, it can't ship at the moment, but it is supposed to be coming this December. So I'm not sure if it's out yet, but um, I'll just read out the features. Uh, it's got a it's got a quad quad core and dual uh, GPU uh, turbo boost. It's got all those sort of stuff. Memory. It's probably the most powerful Mac I reckon you could get. Um, you know, if you want to if you want to do like look. The Mac Pro, the Mac Pro, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna remove some stuff here, so I can hold this up. The Mac Pro, right, would be a hundred billion trillion times faster than this, uh, and that's a true fact. It, it, it's 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 faster than this tri- uh, by big time. So it's the powerful, powerful Mac. Well, what do you guys think about the, the Mac Pro? It's just crazy. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. If you had the money? No. no. You, you wouldn't? I would buy okay. it. You wouldn't buy it? No. no. I know a lot of I know a lot of um, studios and that do use it though as part of you know because it's powerful and gets the job done especially with people that that edit and that. Um, yeah, so that's the Mac Pro, and I think that I think that basically uh, wraps up I guess 2013. Um, I can't think of anything else. I've, I've went through most of it, um, maybe not in that much detail as as some stories, but I guess. Um, but but yeah, that's 2013. I guess um, we'll go through now and to finish the show off and um, just tell us uh, what you think was uh, the best, I guess, product or the best the best thing that happened in Apple this year. So we'll start with you, Mark. What, what was your favourite or the best thing you thought that happened in Apple this year? Well, well, I thought of a planet. <laughs> I was reading something. You like this, huh? Oh. He's still doing it, look. Go on, go for it. What was you saying? <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm not hungry. What? You're not hungry? What the? Oh, yeah. What was the what was what was your favourite thing that happened in Apple this year out of all the things we've discussed? It's just woken up, so I have no idea to be honest. I <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm not surprised it just got up. It just woke up to planet planet Earth. The best thing happened so. to Apple this year must be In your opinion. In your opinion. In my opinion. Everything really. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, I have Oh, uh, God, uh, the only thing, God, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm quite surprised at the weight of the iPad Air, I'm going to be honest, that's quite good, so, that's probably, I'm going to say iOS 7, because, yeah, that, that is a, that is a big, up, that was a big update, yeah, yeah that was a that's big update, something. iOS 7 or iPhone 5C, because that's obviously probably big as well, anything else? Before we, we wrap up. Right, Mark's gonna go back to his planet. <laughs> of course next of course of course next week uh, we're supposed to have we're supposed to have our Christmas show, so um, we will um, do that next Monday. Um, I'll try and get it live streamed out, but I don't I don't I don't guarantee anything if, if we do do it live or not. Um, we probably won't, we'll probably just pre record it. Um, uh, and we'll finalise the uh, the hosts uh, on Friday, um, get that organised. But that's happening Monday and the same time. Um, we'll do it at the same time, 11.30am um, um, London time. So, um, yeah, that's, that's coming next week. So um, if we do do it live, that will be the time. But um, if not, we'll the, the recording will come out Wednesday or something or, or whenever the editor wants to put it out. So... Um, that's it, I guess, for, for Mac Mania review show for 2013. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hashtag. Um, this has been this has been episode 59. <laughs> this is the 16th of uh, December. Quickly, uh, do you just want to go through your links where people can find you? Um, you know, the, you know, the, YouTube. you know the drill. YouTube.com/legendedit94. 
Twitter.com slash Legend894. And I suppose that's it, really. I don't really... I, mean, I don't really Mine's use any other e emails or anything like that anymore. Mine's quick and simple. Mr. Mark's Mark been doing vlogs, so... Mr. Mark UK1 YouTube. Mr. Mark UK1 YouTube. Twitter, Mark Nice for UK. Facebook, Mr. Mark UK1. And that's it. Mark's been doing vlogs, so I watch it. Because I know I've been watching your vlogs, so I know that. Vlogs. So... Not every day. Doing Not every day, but when he when he when he feels like it. Wait, mine's just twitter.com slash bevob5. Bevob, you can find me bevob5 on anything: Instagram, Twitter, Ask FM, um, Snapchat, just even. No, don't don't. don't just Google it. it. <laughs> That's what Mark said. Just Google it. <laughs> yeah, just Google it. That's a good idea. And of course, my YouTube channel: youtube.com slash main channel. Maybe uploading some some videos later next week. Um, so until next, uh, until the Christmas show, bye for now. All right. Bye. Got an itchy leg. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>